Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial series, we are gonna be building a Type Racer clone. So if you don't know what Type Racer is, you're basically given a paragraph that you need to type out, and the goal is to type it as fast as you can. And what you'll get back is your words per minute. And whoever has the highest words per minute wins the game. So this is the actual application that we're gonna be building. Main technologies we're gonna be using is React, Mongoose, Socket.io, Node.js, and Express. So if you wanna be able to follow along, you should be familiar with these technologies. All right, so to get started, let's actually take a look at the application that we're gonna be building. So I'm gonna hit create game on one of them. It's gonna prompt me for a nickname. So this is gonna be the user's nickname. Type whatever you want, hit submit. And there you go, our game is created. Now what I could do is I could copy the game code and let's say I send this code to a friend. So I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna go to join game and I'm gonna paste the game code that my friend sent me and I'm gonna give my nickname, hit submit. Now I've joined the game. And likewise, if I go to the third person and say, hey, join my game, paste the code, he has a nickname, hit submit. Now we're all in the same game. Now what I could do from here is since I created the game, I'm the only one who gets started. I click start game. Everyone has a countdown and this is achieved through socket IO. And now we could begin typing. So I could say, if we could see the miracle of a single flower, clearly our whole life would change. And you can see here that I have a type speed of 2.3 million. And let me type some more here. And you can see this player. A single flower. And there you go. So the time stops. First player has 2.3 million. Second player has 19. And the third player, we scroll down, you can see that he has zero. That's because he didn't type anything. And now I'm gonna head over to Visual Studio Code and we're just going to start this tutorial series with some boilerplate code. All right, so now I'm in Visual Studio Code. I am in an empty folder called Type Racer Tutorial. Name it whatever you want. We're gonna open up a terminal and I'm just gonna clear the terminal, so format correctly. And there we go. So the first thing I wanna do is install a couple of packages. So first we need to create our package.json file. So we could do that by saying npm init and we'll pass a Y flag for all the default values. All right, that's gonna create our package.json file. Next, let's install express. Let's install mongoose. And let's install Socket.io. All right, so those are all the packages that I wanna install for now. And let's create a file called app.js. And before I forget, let's go to our package.json and let's change main to app. Okay, so let's save that, close that. And let's get started. So first I am gonna require express. Next, let's actually create an instance of that. So I'm gonna say const app is gonna be equal to express. Next thing I wanna bring in is our socket IO. And we're also gonna require mongoose. Next, we're gonna tell our express application to listen for requests. So I'm just gonna say const express server, it's gonna be equal to app.listen. And we are gonna pass in port 3001. The reason I'm using 3001 as opposed to 3000 is because the create react app by default listens to port 3000. So I'm just gonna pick an unused port. So we have 3001. This is gonna return an HTTP object. 
And all we need to do is pass that HTTP object to our socket IO server. So I'm just gonna say const IO, it's gonna be socket IO and we'll pass express server. Now, what we could do with this IO object is we could listen for events and we could emit events to individual sockets that join our IO server, okay? Next, what I'm going to do is we are going to connect to our MongoDB database. So I am connecting locally. So I'm just going to say mongoose.connect. And this is the default location if you do this locally. It's going to be MongoDB localhost 27017, followed by the name of the database. So I'm going to call this type racer tutorial and we're going to pass some options now these options are important because you're going to get deprecation warnings if you don't pass them in so we're just going to say use new url parser and i'll bring this over to one line so you guys can see it better and we're going to set this to true and we're going to say use unified apology and we'll also set that to true. Okay. Next, we're going to pass a callback. And all we're going to do is say console.log successfully connected to database. Okay. So this is pretty much all I wanted to do for app.js file. So I'm just gonna save this and let's actually run it and test it. So I'm gonna say node app and we successfully connected to the database. Okay, so that's all I wanted to test for app. And next thing I'm gonna do is do our React setup. So I've already installed the create react app. So if you don't have create react app installed as a global dependency, you could type create react app and you could pass the G flag. You hit enter it's going to install that for you. Then you could use this by saying create react app and we're going to give it a name of the folder. We want to install everything in. We're going to call this client. All right, so let's test that this actually in installed correctly. So we're gonna change directly into the client. We're gonna run npm start. And there you go, our React portion is working. Okay, I just wanna double check to make sure that our server can also run at the same time with React. So I'm just gonna say node app to run it once more. And we're not getting any conflicts. Okay, so we have our client and our server running at the same time. All right, so this is pretty much where I want to stop. And in future tutorials, we'll get into the more interesting stuff.